Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can get started with the Autolytics Hub app. So we actually have an app both for iOS and Android, where you can basically run the YOLO V8 and Autolytics model directly on your phone. This is pretty cool. Let's just jump straight into it and see how we can use it. So we're now jumping straight into the Autolytics documentation. If we go up inside the Hub tab, we'll be able to see our app. We both have our Hub Cloud. We also have a Python SDK, but we also have this pretty cool app so we have the Autolytics hub app you can download it on app store and also google play depending on what type of phone you have so this is pretty cool like what's cooler than act like running optic detection model on your phone and that's not just it they're also running in real time so running real time optic detection with the yolo v8 from Autolytics directly on your phone so to be able to run in real time and get very fast inference speed, which you're going to see some examples in just a second, so definitely stay tuned for that. But it's utilizing the Apple's neural engine and also the Android GPU and neural network API. So that is actually why we can get so good performance running these models on the phone. And it is both supporting YOLO V8 and also YOLO V5. So these are all the models from Autolytics working directly on your phone. Let's go down and take a look at some of the features so we can run the YOLO V5 and YOLO V8 models. Hardware acceleration, as we talked about, custom model training. So again, you can train custom models with the Autolytics Hub platform and preview them live using the Hub app. So you can train them inside the cloud. We have videos about that, so definitely check them out. Then you can use your train models in your app and do inference, show it to your friends, because again, there's nothing cooler than showing optic detection models on your phone. Mobile compatibility, the Hub app supports both iOS and also Android devices, as I mentioned, bringing the power of YOLO models to a wide range of users, so pretty much everyone out there we both have some app documentation for both ios and also android so you can learn like how to use these uh, yolo core ml models accelerate on apple's neural engine and also for android like how we can use tf Lite acceleration on android mobile devices so this is the app documentation if you want to take a look at it we can just go in and take a look at the ios one so this is just how you can run real-time optic detection with yolo models quantization acceleration Floating point 16 bit, 8 bit. Again, we want to quantize our models so they can run even faster on lower end hardware. So, here we can see some specifications with both for the release year chipset that we're using in the iPhone, the node size, and also the tens of operations like how many tens of operations can we do per second. So, again, this is pretty cool how you can start with Autolytics app, download it from an app store or also from Google Store, launch the app, sign in. Let's see the list with your trained YOLO models. We can also use the pre-trained ones. Grant the app permission to access your device camera. It's going to open that up, run the models, and then you will be able to see the live stream from your camera with optic detection. So we can see here that the app will display the bounding boxes and also the class labels in real time. And you can also explore the app setting to adjust the detection threshold, enable or disable specific optic classes and more. So let's now get into the fun part. Let's see some examples. I'll just going to pick up my phone and go inside the Autolytics Hub app. So I've now opened up the Autolytics Hub app on my phone. We can see it running right here. I can just move it around. We can see that right now we're detecting a TV. They're not detecting a camera, a person, keyboard. Let's see if we can get a mouse as well. There we go. So now we're running these models. We can go down at the bottom, choose which of the models we want to run. So we can medium, large, extra large, and so on. Right now we're running the extra large model. So over here to the right, we can see the number of frames per second and also the inference speed. So it's around 22 milliseconds and 30 frames per second. So this is running real time. Even that extra large model can run in real time on your phone because we're using quantization and also the Apple's neural engine. If you go up here to the top, we can also in the future do classification and post estimation directly. If you go up here, we can specify these prediction settings. So the number of items we want to detect in our frame, confidence threshold, you can you can lower that, you can increase it or decrease it. Also an intersection or union. And if you want to use bounding box stroke width. So these are the prediction settings that you can see. We have some different projects. If you're trained your own, you can go in and see them here. We have the YOLO V5 and we also have the YOLO V8. We can also say, see the data sets. We won't really go too much into details with that. We're covering that in other Cloud Hub videos. If you go inside your account, you can basically sign in or sign up. But the cool thing here is that we can do predictions with our phone. So earlier today, I just took my phone for a short walk. Here we can see that I'm walking um, along a path in the marina. And then we can see if we are detecting all of these persons here that we're passing by. Mainly in this video here, we mainly see people, sometimes we get predictions with some benches, but it might be some prediction settings. We can also turn it around and see all these predictions. So here we're predicting like a boss, 
suitcase some, sometimes and also a person but mainly persons in this video let's go to the next one here where i'm walking inside a mall we can see that we're taking all these tables and chairs potted plant chairs on the right side here people walking around we're pretty much detecting every single object from these pre-trained models again this is from the coco data set so 80 classes from the coco data set so this is pretty cool you can see how good performance we get directly in here so the last one here that i want to show you guys is just cars passing by we can even see here behind the fence holding in a line for a traffic light on the other side we're even detecting those as cars we have some buses trucks and so on driving past but we're detecting every single car with a high confidence score so most of them are like 99 close to 100 percent confidence score we have some trucks buses so this is pretty cool so after this video here, I really hope you guys are blown away by this real-time update detection directly on your phone. So definitely go ahead and test it out, download the model, open up the camera, choose one of the Ultralytics models, do inference, try to walk around and see some awesome results. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, happy detecting.